Hello, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a twin flame reading. I do have availability for your own personal and private love reading. My PayPal link to purchase the website as well as my email is in the box below. Make sure to email me um, with the information and the package you have chosen. I look forward to connecting with you. Um, so for this reading, I did get a download about the Divine Masculine. I'm going to be touching upon Divine Masculine and Feminine. Um, if any karmic or soulmate energies come in, take what applies and leave the rest, okay? I hope you all are having a great day, and thanks for clicking on this video. So let's get into this Divine Masculine. So the message I was getting about the Divine Masculine is that the DM is crying, okay, heavy tears, okay, someone's DM out here is crying heavy tears over you and wants to get you pregnant, okay, that was the download that I got, so let's go ahead and look into the cards and see exactly what is going on between you and you, this person, okay, we have the judgment card, major arcana, the first card coming out here and I was also getting an intuitive uh, message to tell you that um, someone out here may like uh, the crystal amethyst and I was getting a download to tell you to sleep with the amethyst um, fairly nearby where you sleep or under your pillow or near your pillow okay if you're having trouble sleeping if you're having trouble having uh, you know visions um, dreams, downloads, if, if you want more clarity, I did get a message to tell you to um, have the amethyst crystal nearby, okay? All right, we have a three of cups reversed. Mm -hmm. All right, this is a divine masculine we're looking into now. We have the star, could be an Aquarius. Queen of Pentacles reversed. The Knight of Swords you versed. Okay, so this Divine Masculine has cold feet. I really feel strongly here that this Divine Masculine is fantasizing about you. Okay, your DM is fantasizing about you with the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups reminiscing. Okay, we are in Cancer season, so a lot of nostalgia is in the air during a Mercury retrograde. The Lover is underneath the Six of Cups. Okay, so this Divine Masculine wants to get back together. Maybe you walked away, okay, you have walked away, but now your Divine Masculine wants you back. Five of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords, okay. So this Divine Masculine I'm seeing here could be um, worrying about money, worrying about status, worrying about stability, okay. If your Divine Masculine uh, lost his or her job, okay, take what applies. If your DM lost their job, or they had to move houses or apartments. I'm seeing lots of energy here about maintenance. This could be car maintenance. This could be house maintenance. This even could be a, a physical injury, which I normally never really say when I pull this card. But for this energy, yeah, this could actually be a divine masculine who has an actual physical injury. Um, in another reading of late, I did pick up that there could have been... Um, some kind of car accident. Um, so I, I, I'm, you know, my condolences if, if someone was injured or, you know, anything else, okay? Um, yeah, there's a lot of energy here, I feel, of like just bad luck with the Ten of Swords and the Five of Pentacles, okay? So this Divine Masculine right now feels like he is in a unlucky streak. Um, and especially if you have walked away, there is energy here of you know, missing out, you know, this divine masculine feels like he's missing out, okay, with the high priestess reverse, ten of cups reversed, and the queen of wands reversed, so this divine masculine desperately wants to have a happy family with the nine of cups, okay, but I really feel like we're going to get into Three of Cups Reverse. We're going to get into the third party energy in a little bit. But I really th feel with the Ten of Cups Reverse and the Nine of Cups Upright that there is a really, really strong energy here of wanting to have a family, um, you know, with the Divine Feminine um, and feeling kind of gutted that, you know, that may not come true, that may not happen, okay? 
whether it's adoption, biological, um, you know, so have you. Uh, I just feel like there's an energy here of um, really wanting to have success. You know, there's a lot of nostalgia here. There could have been a lot of uh, happy times you both shared or that you both wanted to share with each other. And I really get the impression here that that is kind of, you know, fallen through at this point. Um, this Divine Masculine is in heavy regret mode, okay? This DM is in heavy regret mode. Let's go ahead and pull some cards for the Three of Cups reversed. We have the Hierophant. So I did get a, a bonus card for the Three of Cups reversed. And in this Hierophant card, we have three people two women and one man. Okay. So take that how you will. That could be a soulmate and a divine masculine. It could be a karmic and divine masculine, divine feminine. Um, but there is three people. Okay. Yeah. Is the divine masculine with a third party? Let's see right now if they're single or with a third party for the collective. What's the most dominant energy? Ten of cups. Yeah. They want this ten of cups with you. Okay, I feel that this divine masculine could be, could be wanting actual twins, funny enough, is fantasizing about having twins, you know, one boy, one girl, or two boys or two girls with a divine feminine, you know, wanting to have a family, especially if this divine masculine um, doesn't have any kids, they want to have kids now, they want to, I feel settled down, okay, they're, they're considering to settle down now. But they're very confused, okay? This Divine Masculine I see here is very confused. So I feel like this third-party energy is leaving this Divine Masculine confused about, you know, who to pick. So if this Divine Masculine does have options, they're gutted about this. They're confused about, you know, what they should do. Should they stay single? Should they be with this karmic? Should they be with a soulmate? Should they come back to you and try to make things work? Um, this Divine Masculine is really confused. Okay, really confused. Four of Pentacles reversed. So wanting to gain stability, but not the star reversed. Okay. The strength. Okay, this could be a Leo. This could be a fire sign. Seven of Swords. Yeah, so you see how the lady has her back turned from the guy here? So that's what I feel is going on right now. And this could be what you're picking up on is that your DM is feeling rejected, feeling not good enough, feeling like they don't have the strength to carry on. Yeah, and they're being very defensive. So we have seven of wands and seven of swords. So you could be seeing you could be seeing seven seven seven. You could be seeing four four four. Eleven eleven and one one one. I'm hearing nine 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 and five five five. Yep. As soon as, as soon as I said nine nine nine, we got the nine of wands. Okay. So for a lot of these divine masculines, they're resting a lot. They're sleeping a lot. This could be a Scorpio. Okay, death card Scorpio. Okay, so this this DM really, really thinks it's done. Okay, this, this divine masculine is, it's like reality is setting in. They, they're so convinced that they have, they've lost you. Okay, for good. Um, if you are with someone else and you do have your social media open, they are lurking. There is energy here of them lurking with a judgment card, three of cups reversed. So you both could be with other people right now. Okay, there is some there is some um, twin flames I feel right now who could be with other people. Like you're with someone else, your DMs with someone else. And there's a judgment, you know, there is some kind of contemplation that comes with that, with, with, with seeing each other with someone else. Like there is some kind of melancholy, uh, you know, sad feeling about this. So I'm seeing two people right now who are not very happy, you know, with being left out in the cold. I feel like the DM and the DF are not very happy with being left out in the cold. 
Um, and I do feel this divine masculine really wants to, uh, you know, get you pregnant. Okay. If you're able to get pregnant, um, whether, you know, biologically or just adoption or in vitro, whatever you, you know, whatever comes to mind. They want to achieve this success, Ten of Pentacles. They want to have this, you know, this energy of opulence and class, I feel, with you. If they come from a very unhealthy family or a hard, you know, hard background, I see this Divine Masculine here wants to kind of change a tune, you know, maybe dress nicer. I'm hearing professional. I just keep hearing the word professional. Um, someone's divine masculine could also be a tattoo artist that's coming up as well. Maybe your um, divine masculine is a DJ or a musician or a singer or a producer, writer. This divine masculine feels very creative, okay? It doesn't have to be, but this, this, this feels very creative. So perhaps this divine masculine is trying to turn their creativity into a professional career, you know, trying to make it. Uh, to enhance it, you know, there's an energy here of wanting to enhance, have a more professional portfolio, um, attract better people like this, this divine masculine could have had people who they consider to be kind of crass and rude and very nosy, you know, like a backstabber, you know, and I feel this divine masculine and perhaps the divine feminine is wanting to attract better company. Because I feel there's an element of this divine masculine realizing that in order to have this family and have a happy one, he has to have the right company around him. He can't have all these negative people, you know, putting sword, putting swords in his back. This divine masculine's realizing that he needs to um, get out of a third party and I feel also get away from toxic company. So this divine masculine has a lot of toxic relations. Um, the DM needs to do a, a clear, a clear cord, uh, you know, exercise. I feel this, this, this DM needs to go ahead and release some people out of their life. And um, with with a death card, I think it, it it's pretty straight to the point, you know. But this DM needs to let go of something that doesn't serve. I I feel like the divine feminine here is in this process already okay the feminine i feel has been in this process of removing things that are unhealthy for a very long time but i i get the impression here with the divine masculine that um this has just begun okay the dm has literally just started to get rid of some people and perhaps a, a partner okay if they're in a relationship with someone else this is brand new this does this does not feel like this this dm is completely detached even if they're not with the person um, you know, there still could be text messages here and there. There still could be visits, you know, social media likes and retweets like this person. This feels very soulmate to me on um, this. There could be a soulmate around now for both the DM and the DF, but it just feels like uh, this person's trying to show the DM and the DF um, the light. So if you both have a soulmate now, if you are in that situation, it feels like this person's trying to show, you know, both twin flames in their own way, you know, the light, the hope um, that there is something better, you know, or, or, you know, amongst all the madness. So the DM is, is, is needing to make a decision. You know, this divine masculine needs to make a decision about um, who they're going to choose once and for all. Three of Pentacles. So this divine masculine is has has just begun, has literally just begun to start making the the I feel the financial moves especially to have a family to have their own home if they don't have their, if they're not a homeowner or they're not in an apartment they're not renting um, or they want to move okay to a different state a different country because um, there there is there is an international flavor here um, with this card right here this this could be. Uh, either the DM or the DF wanting to travel or wanting to go on vacation or wanting to actually move. So if you're divine masculine, okay, so there could be some divine masculines who are so gutted or so devastated that they actually could have moved already. If your DM has moved somewhere, they could have moved out of state or you could have moved out of state. Wow. There's energy here of somebody who's moved out of state. Or country even gone to a whole different country gone to a whole different city 
Nine of Swords. This is causing someone anxiety, okay? Someone could be threatening to leave the Divine Masculine or someone could be threatening to uh, leave where they live. Some twin flame I'm seeing here, either you or this person could have threatened to leave for good and it's causing so much anxiety. Nine of Swords. So we have a Ten of Swords, we have a Nine of Swords and we have a Seven of Wands, okay? So this is overkill. This is like someone who... Uh, you know, really needs to let go of the baggage. I feel like you both need to let some things go. You know, if it's time to move or if it's time to go to another job, if it's time to let go of some friends, I feel like what, what Spirit is saying here is that you both need to go ahead and move in this energy of, of, of prosperity and abundance and, you know, good relations, good people who have a pure heart, pure intentions, because especially for... um. The Divine Feminine, I feel like there could have been people who were just honestly just jealous of, you know, your connection with your Divine Masculine. And I've been getting that for the last two readings. There could have been that. I mean, if you're very if I mean, if you know you have people around you who don't support or don't like your DM, um, that's what I'm picking up. You know, there could have been some people. Wow. Ten of Swords again. Ten of Swords, again, there could have been some people who just were really negative, you know, just very, very negative about this connection or this person. And what I feel Spirit saying here is that it's not because of the person necessarily for the DF, why the company that, that the DF had were speaking like this. What I'm getting is that the way that the Divine Masculine, right, the way that the Divine Masculine was in a third party is what made the DF's people a lot of people bad mouth the DM. That's what I'm getting, to be honest with you. Now, there's like 21% of them who were just honestly just jealous. But if this is your situation that I'm picking up on that you've just gotten out of, yeah, this does feel like there could have been um, people, you know, around you, the company you keep, right, that saw how your twin flame treated you. And that's why they didn't like them. It wasn't about, oh, you know, we're jealous necessarily. It was just, okay, well, this person's cheating. This person's not wanting to commit and, you know, stringing, stringing you along. So it feels like people around you are more so like, okay, well, your DM is not treating you with respect. So we're not going to like the person. So I just feel like spirit wants me wants me to be very careful with with that message. It's not about necessarily jealousy, okay? It's actually about the divine masculine either not being the person they should be and having that stability and that honesty that, you know, drive and um it put a negative taste in people's mouth. What I'm getting is for the DF is that it put a negative taste in people's mouth. People around the DF felt like the DM was was not the best person for the DF. And that's why I feel this this energy is coming across. So telepathically, energetically, you could be feeling your divine masculine um, wanting to, you know, cuddle you and cry on your shoulder. Maybe your divine masculine has tried to reach out to you or has reached out to you crying because they they really feel this. You know, they really understand that um they put a bad taste in people's mouth. You know, whatever this divine masculine was up to, you know, it wasn't so divine. It wasn't so pure. It wasn't the, the best course of, of action to take. And I really feel like there needs to be an end of something that's toxic for both of you. So the divine feminine, I feel, has already begun this from like two years ago, you know, getting things out of, out of his or her life that don't matter and don't benefit but the divine masculine i think has now just started to do that um so they are i guess in the content in the con in the context of the situation it feels like the divine masculine is way behind okay the dm is like just doing the things that the df did but you know what it's all fair like everybody grows differently at a different pace okay so not to poo poo that it's just that i just see a lot of energy of um Things lingering. There's a lot of things lingering in this divine masculine's life that don't benefit um, that that person, and unfortunately, they just cannot see it. So yeah, there could have been a divine masculine who could be struggling right now. You know, literally on its last legs. You know, that's that's what it feels like to me. Okay. Let's see how the DM what the, how the DM feels and um, what's going to happen. For those who resonate okay but there is a very melancholy energy here you know the energy to me um feels very melancholy 
Okay, they want me to keep these cards out. I'm going to keep those out. You know, lots of nostalgia. You know, if you guys went to the beach together, if you guys went to, like, I'm hearing a pizza parlor, or you guys may like pizza. You both may like pizza. Um, there's also energy here of like seagulls and butterflies and birds. So maybe you both like nature. Maybe, maybe one of you likes to be in nature. I'm hearing the, the I'm hearing the zodiac sign Aries. I'm hearing Virgo. I'm hearing Sagittarius. I'm hearing Scorpio. Okay. Actually, that car went back in. So what do they regret? Like, what are they regretting right now? And um, what's gonna happen? How do they feel? The world. Yeah, lots of travel. <clears throat> I see a lot of traveling here. I see a lot of travel in the future. Chariot. This could be a Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, as well as Venus or Mars for you or this person. Yeah, we are in Cancer season. Lots of Cancers coming out. Capricorn, Aries, Leo. Okay. <clears throat> uh, three of Pentacles. Uh, hangman. Okay. So they're in Limbo. Yeah, this, this this divine masculine, this divine masculine gives me lots of vibes of like their dream is so far away. Perhaps in the past for this DM, their dreams, you know, being with you were, were, were tangible, real, you know, taste, touch, hear, smell. And it feels like now they feel like this dream is so far away. Look at this person's face. Look at this, look at this divine masculine's face. It's like regardless of gender. It's like uh, they feel like this is so far away. This DM is like, this is so far away. This is never going to happen. Really, this is the energy of like, it's never going to happen. It's so far away. And if you have moved, if you like, once again, if you have actually moved or they moved, it's like it's worse now. It's like, okay, this person's really done with me because they've moved, you know, out of the city. They moved to a different country. Wow. Wow. So watch out for that, okay? I, I feel like saying watch out, Five of Pentacles fell out with a higher font. Could be a Taurus, Cancer, Leo. Yeah, I just want to say be careful of your, um, Some this is for someone out here, just be careful of your twin flame actually moving without telling you. Like there could be some secret plan. The moon reversed past my eye with the Fool card, yeah. This is the Divine Feminine. This is this is a divine feminine. I just got it. Okay, this is a divine this is a divine feminine. So so they're feeling gutted now because they realize that they missed an opportunity. They missed so many opportunities. Wow. And they're watching you. They're watching you. This this divine masculine is watching you flourish, watching you blossom, watching you go into new territory, you know? I'm hearing glorified territory, walk into abundance. And they're just watching this and they feel like they're without, you know, this divine this divine masculine feels like they're they're going without. They're missing out on all the fun. You know, there's the same energy here and the same energy here. You know, I keep hearing it's so far away. Someone's seeing it. Someone keeps saying it's so far away. It's never going to happen. It's so far away. You, if, you, if you're not watching this person, they're watching you. Okay. I feel a strong energy here of moving out. Okay, so there could be some feminines also who are going to be moving out. Or moving to a new place or buying property. With that Ace of Pentacles, I love that card. Okay, there could be some feminines who are actually uh, opening up businesses. Okay, or has a business, Eight of Cups. You know, buying property, buying land, investments. So this feminine, this feminine energy feels very uh, abundant, to be honest with you. And the masculine feels uh, very uh, without, you know, lacking, uh, very slow. You know, I'm hearing a turtle's pace. This divine, ma this divine masculine right here is going at a turtle's pace. So there is, there is an energy here of spirit saying, "Listen, they're they're not ready. You know, they're not. 
You see that? There's an energy here of spirit saying this divine masculine uh, doesn't have a clue, okay? Just doesn't know what they're doing. So instead of them actually, uh, you know, taking action, you know, releasing their own burdens, they're over here watching you. Page of Swords. They're watching you walk away. Eight of Cups. You know, there's a lot of energy here of emptiness, lack. I'm hearing no goals, no hope. There could have been some things that your Divine Masculine wanted to do with you. Like I said, have a family. Make love, have a business. You know, I'm also getting energy here of this Divine Masculine could have wanted to... Uh, you know, do a, some, a certain kind of job, like a certain kind of creative job or like a very unique, eccentric job I'm hearing. I'm hearing motorcycles. I'm hearing tattoos. Real estate. And they're suspended in the air. This this divine masculine is is hanging on, you know, hanging on to the memories Stuck in the past. This this divine masculine I'm seeing right here is stuck in the past. They're, they're in this woulda, coulda, shoulda energy. Woulda, coulda, shoulda. Woulda, coulda, shoulda. You know, I should have, I should have told my divine feminine this. I should have done this. I shouldn't have done that. Like, like, you know, seven of cups reverse. So confusion over options. Two of Pentacles, maybe even having too many options <laughs> with a Libra card and the Tower. You could be a Libra. They could have Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Mercury, Mercury, Venus, or Mars. And the Three of Cups comes out right behind it. Yeah, this is too many options here. They want to rush in and communicate, but they have too many options. Too many options. So this Divine Masculine is, is suspended in the air because they have too many options and they could be very low on funds or not have a very uh they're not in a good place right now in their career their business it's like they're, they're not they're not really they don't have any creative juice you know it feels it feels like this divine masculine doesn't really have any creative juice or stamina to keep going at something you know it's kind of it's like time's running out you know you know the, the fuel is on low and, you know, when your car is low, you got to go to the gas station and pump up, right? And this this feels like this Divine Masculine is, is, is very low right now. But they still have options. So tell me how the Divine Masculine doesn't have financial stability, but they have options. So spending money, spending time, spending energy in the wrong place. That's the DM's problem is not having a good allocation of energy and funds, not knowing where to place things, not knowing how to make a decision and stick to it with that Libra energy, needing to make a decision and stick to it, what's fair, what's real, what's just, with a hierophant, commitment, monogamy, which is which is the opposite. This is the opposite. This energy right here, the feminine is shooting for, this is the opposite of this and this, right? The Tower, Three of Cups, Reverse, and the Justice and the Hierophant is the opposite of this. It's two different worlds. It's two different worlds. Like, which one do you want? Do you want to lose money and, and, and keep tossing your love to the wind? Or do you want to actually build and have a family? Because I feel this Divine Masculine really wants to have um, a family with you. Four swords, so exactly. So they're taking, like I said, this DM is sleeping very a, a lot. Okay, this could make, be making you feel sleepy. This divine masculine is is in is in hibernation. Okay, and it looks like they're going to be in hibernation for at least eight months. When I pulled when I pulled this card, it feels like eight months to me being in hibernation for eight months. Time to rest or take a vacation. What did I say? What did I say? Vacation. This could be the DM as well. Wanting to get away. Not wanting to really uh, use energy to, to work hard. It's just more so, okay, well, I'm just going to chill and lay back, which is fine. But um, if you're not healthy and you're not able to support yourself, that's a problem. You have to be able to have something coming in. It doesn't have to be a lot, but it could be something, right? 
something's better than nothing, okay? Most of the times. As long as it's healthy, it's better than nothing, right? Allow more time before making a decision. <coughs> Look at this. Meditation may provide answers. So like I said, like I said, they they're 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 in limbo. This is this is the divine masculine. Honestly, honestly speaking, I'm just going to go ahead and say that for the rest of the year. I said 8 months, right? We have 6 months left. I'm just going to go ahead and say for the rest of the year, this is what I see for the divine masculine. That's all I see for the divine masculine for the rest of the year. If they keep if they keep going in this direction, of just lack and who should I pick who should I pick stock on social media but don't do anything this is this is the same this is the same energy you know it gives me the impression that this is the same thing from last year I don't know who this is this message right here is for but this feels like this is a DM or maybe you're the DM watching this feels like you've been doing the same thing year after year like you've not progressed at all like a divine masculine who's not um progressed at all you know they, there's nothing different it's just the same old same old so they're watching you what are they watching you on social media for what are they, what are they looking for what are they looking for in social media what are they looking for in social media Knight of Pentacles, Five of Swords. So this Divine Masculine feels in competition. Yeah, they're on social media looking if looking if if, if they have if they have competition. You know, wanting to rush in, but knowing that there's competition, knowing that there's somebody else who can take better care and love the Divine Feminine better, perhaps. You know, wanting to offer this apple right here, wanting to offer this this sweet tooth, this little treat, but knowing that they don't they don't have it, whether it's financially or emotionally or just the time, the time, you know, they 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 just they just don't have it. Okay, the, this divine masculine is is lacking in some kind of area, or they or this is this is showing how they feel. They feel like they're lacking. This may not be the reality. Okay, this may not be the reality for some divine masculines, but there's an energy here of like, I feel like I'm lacking. I feel like I don't have enough to compete. So they're taking their, so they're, they're tapping out that basically this divine masculine is, is tapped out. Okay, not, uh, not done, but I feel they are tapped out. Now there could be some DMs done as well, but for the most, for the most of them, this feels like they, they are, they are tapped out. So it's either, it's either they are tapped out or they are done as well because they don't feel like they have, they can't go on. There's energy here of like, you know, crawling on the ground, waving a white flag, you know, not, not being able to really complete what they started is what I get here. You know, wanting to rush in, but not being able to offer anything um, of good use to anybody is what I get. Okay. Balance, spirituality, and practicality and conclusions are within reach. So this is what I feel both parties are going to have the both the DM and the DF. This is what's going to happen here. You're going to be coming to conclusions about what's going on here. Okay. And there is still a heavy energy here of moving. Ugh, I'm seeing an ocean for someone. I'm even hearing Hawaii. I'm hearing Australia, I'm hearing New York, London, Paris. I was getting lots of Parisian energy earlier. This could definitely be a, either you're Parisian, I mean, it's French, excuse me, or like you want to move to Paris, you want to visit Paris. New Zealand. Yeah, Australia. So there's just energy here of like moving away. You know, I feel like there, I feel like these are two people who are going in different directions. I don't feel the divine feminine is watching the DM. I don't I don't get that at all, okay? I don't get the impression that the divine feminine is watching the divine masculine. The divine feminine I feel here is really focused on charging ahead, you know, moving forward, having a new beginning with the full card, if the full card's here. Yeah. 
this is DF energy, like wanting to step into the brand new, having, you know, new friends, you know, new opportunities, new experiences, like it's all brand new, it doesn't feel like the same thing. And that's why I'm saying with the DF, it feels new with a DM, it feels like the same old, same old. And that's the problem. Maybe the divine masculine needs to take a little, a little tip from the feminine of how to do that. Okay. How to uh, transition into, you know, different seasons in our life and not treat every season as the same because every season is not the same. You know, you can always learn something different if you allow yourself to. So it's, it's a poverty mindset. It's a lack mindset. It's a lack mentality that the divine masculine has. That's that's one of the downfalls. Is is the 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 mentality of lack and competition, wanting to compete, five of swords, five of wands with other people, three of cups reverse, and get everything, you know, egged up and dramatic and negative instead of actually wanting to just focus on all the good things that life has to offer. Maybe this divine masculine is negative. Maybe you experience your divine masculine being very negative about life in general. And that that's going to seep out, you know, into how they make a living, how they fulfill their destiny, their mission, their purpose, like it, that, that's going to bleed into everything else when you have a lack mentality. Okay. Ten of Pentacles was reversed, but I'm going to keep it upright because I want to keep it as positive as I can. It came out reversed. But I'm going to keep it upright, okay? What is this? King of Pentacles and the Sun card. Yeah, see? Happy days. So it's time to release. We have the moon. We have the sun. Love it. Divine masculine and feminine. We have the moon and we have the sun. So this is showing that they're, you know, the yin and the yang, right? Balance. The yin and the yang release. Okay. What is the advice? Yeah, going it's going in two different directions. If you guys live in the same city or you you went, you know, you know the same social circles or the same places you hang out, it's like one person is doing is is in a different a different arena. Like one person is going to uh I'm hearing trashy clubs or trashy bars. And it's like the other person's going to like upscale lounges, VIP access, like not to be rude, but that's what it feels like. Like one person is kind of just in the, you know, very common and the other person's very like opulent, you know, um, has worked for that. You know, this, this is somebody who's worked to get to that because it's a mentality. It's a lifestyle. It's a, it's a mindset. You know what I'm saying? It's a mindset that the feminine... I feel, and some masculines I feel are in this too, but it just feels more feminine. But yeah, you know, maybe this is what the masculine wants is to transition from just being, you know, local to international. Okay, that's for someone out here as well. You know, it's going to resonate how, how it needs to resonate if, it, if it's for you. Okay, the message is for you, right? Let's get two more cards here. It's coming up reversed. These last couple of cards are coming out reversed, which is like, I feel a change of mind, a change of heart, like needing to see something for what it is, you know, like, like, like being in the, being in the dark, you know, being in the dark for far too long and needing to just accept what is, you know, and move accordingly, but not to be rude. But this is what spirit was showing me was like somebody who, you know, has unwashed clothes, you know, gets drunk at regular, you know, not very clean, not the cleanest bar. Okay. And then it's like, I'm seeing someone else who's like in a nice, uh, nice attire, you know, around people who are positive and smell good, look good. It's just two different worlds. So maybe if you are a celebrity or if your masculine's a celebrity, maybe you feel that way, like you need to get to that, you need to get into that kind of well, that kind of social group. I don't know. That's what I'm getting. Like you want more. I'm just hearing like you want more out of life. You want to expand your horizon. And that's feminine energy. That feels more feminine to me with a chariot, cancer season, the world, the fool. Okay, and the Justice card, you could have Libra, Moon, Sun, Rising, or Venus, especially Libra. Libras are really into beauty and 
upkeep and care so if, especially if you're a libra that definitely feels like a message for you okay like you know really liking nice things not just because of the aesthetic but because it makes you feel good something about the atmosphere makes you feel good you see what i'm saying so wanting to be around people who make you feel like you're on top of the world like you actually are somebody that you're you know you've made a difference in the world and you're not just a, a taker right you're a giver you're an investor you're somebody who makes an impact okay so we have nothing is set in stone expect powerful change the energy is getting momentum and then we have last but well last and least a new start is coming well that could not be more perfect to me the last card we have here is a new start is coming a new start so this is a new start a new day a new year so this is about setting intentions and goals for next year so i think that both well i, I can't say both but i i would hope both but i just want to say it feels like mainly divine feminine again is the one who uh, you know wants to really expand you know not afraid to go down deep and then come back out into the beautiful light uh you know tricolors multicolored you know going into I'm seeing a rainbow here, like going into just joy um, and fulfillment, okay? So I hope you enjoy this reading. This was a beautiful setup, a lot of in important messages. Um, there is going to be a lot of travel, a lot of expansion for a lot of, a lot of you, I feel, who are going to be acting in accordance to manifest that, okay? Lots of manifestation I see here, but um, God willing, the Divine Masculine will be able to uh, partake in this energy as well if they so choose to, but for now, you know, they are choosing to um, be in a lack mentality with people who are takers, you know, not givers. And that's what the Divine Masculine is showing in the cards is a, a take mentality, not a giver mentality. You know, missing the, the missing puzzle piece as to why they're not profitable, um, successful, you know, healthy. Like, they're missing fundamental, basic things. And um, the feminine is not around to teach that. The feminine I see here is no longer around to keep uh, feed spooning um, the masculine to be on that level. Okay, either you have it or you don't. That's all I got to say. Bye.